Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's time for This Week in Ink, number 12, and we have Josh with us as always. Hey guys, what's up? And today we have a handful of topics. Sorry it's been a while, there's been a lot of stuff going on in our lives, mm -hmm. and we haven't had time to do this, so. Um, real quick, what have you been carrying, if anything, Josh? I personally have not been carrying a lot of stuff. Um, I need to start doing again. I lost a lot of my pens at work. Yeah, it's a horrible, that. horrible thing. So I'm trash, guys. Don't worry about me. Absolutely what have you been garbage. carrying, Jacob? Um, a bunch of different stuff for review. The review of the Kako Retro just went up. Um, the next review I have will also be a giveaway. It is going to be a Finny Rollerball pen. Um, Ooh, it's it's kind of interesting looking. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that. That one should be posted um, <clears throat> probably Wednesday. Just check on that. And also, my review of the Esterbrook SD will be coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that one as well. Super excited for that one, actually. Um, Let's see. I think that's about it. Nothing too big on the channel front. You ready to go ahead and get into the topics? Sure. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, first one up. Ferris Wheel Press, Inc., so they officially Ooh. launched the Kickstarter for this, and I don't know if I'm going to buy it. Um, <laughs> it's Obviously, I would want all three of them. It's $88 for all three of them. Granted, that's not completely outlandish, but that's a lot of freaking money. <laughs> that's a lot of money it's, for three inks. Yeah. See, this is, this is my thing, is I'm sitting here looking at it, and I get it that it's a lot of ink. It's 85 milliliters, which is a fuck ton of ink. Yeah, but you can get dye mine for like 12 bucks for 80 milliliters. That's what I, yeah, that's that's my biggest thing, is I love the way they look. I love the packaging. I love everything I about it. I think that's it. what you're paying for, realistically, but yeah, is, is yeah, the packaging. Yeah, it has to be the, the packaging, because it's beautiful, but um, I just I can't pay $40. Yeah, they're eight. wanting 33 bucks per <laughs> bottle. <laughs> And that's the, what, early bird special? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. the early bird special is $29 a bottle, because that's still a good price, apparently. Oh, uh, it's still a lot. One thing that kind of irritates me is I was looking through the campaign, and, and these inks look, even in the bottle, really vibrant. And Josh, you have bottled inks. You know almost all of them look black in the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, they, so no. if you look, they mention, like, these have been lightened up, and actual inks will appear darker in the bottle. And I'm just sitting here like, why would you do that? <laughs> it's kind of an asshole yeah, thing to do. Guys. Yeah, just just show the ink what it's going to look like, because there's no point. Like, if you otherwise. use fountain pens and you use fountain pen ink, you already know. Like, you don't care how yeah, it's going to... Yeah, exactly. But yeah, those are up. Um, if they were a little cheaper, I'd probably get them. I may still get them. I don't know before the campaign ends. But eighty-eight dollars is just a lot of money for some inks. There's currently eleven days. Um, the project has been fully funded, but just keep in mind, you know, you have about when I, when I post this, you'll probably have about a, a week and a half, you know, to yeah. go do that. <clears throat> Okay, I just wanted to bring that up, mention that those were available, and if you're interested, go check them out. They're, the bottles are gorgeous. The ink colors are nice. Um, I can't speak to shading or anything. I haven't tried them. I did contact them to see if they wanted to send me any of this stuff, and they were like, mmm, and never said anything. So, <laughs> that's their fault. No, but um, it is their fault. if you're interested, they do have some somewhat appealing colors, if not a little generic, but really what you're paying for is the bottle and the packaging. But yeah, they're interesting, so I thought I'd mention it. Honestly, though, yeah, this, I'm not saying anything bad about them. It's really pretty, but the bot, like, like you said, it's, I can find these colors for cheaper. Yeah. Maybe not in the same name, because it's a really pretty name. I love these names, like, Blue Grass Velvet's a beautiful name, but, like, it's the packaging, guys. You're paying for yeah. a really, really pretty-ass packaging. And that bottle that will look amazing sitting on a yes, desk. Yes, that bottle will look so good sitting anywhere. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what your money's going towards. If you're okay with that, go for it. You know, I, I think they're one of those companies that though at the appeal. moment that's putting marketing above <clears> the product, <throat> and that kind of pisses me off. But um, other than that, you know, the, the inks look decent. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty. Yep. Speaking of pretty, let's go ahead and move on to the new Edison Beaumont colors. So the Edison Beaumont is their production line pen. If you didn't know, they usually run a, a couple colors at once 
they have gotten rid of all the old colors and come up with three new ones. We have oh. Amber Glass, Twilight Embers, and Unicorn. So, I actually don't hate any of these. Um, I think the Amber Glass is my favorite, though. I'm, hit, I'm looking at them, and honestly, Twilight Ember is probably my favorite, just because I always love black and orange playing off of each other. It's absolutely beautiful. Kind of looks like, I don't know, kind of looks like cooled down lava. It's really pretty. Um, I noticed here, I'm reading through it here, and I kind of wish they would have stuck with the name Unicorn Barf, even though well, it's... I think it used to be called, like, Water why. Lily or something. It was yeah. a really popular color, and it sold out a long time ago. Goulet had um, some premieres in this color. It's and, actually um, pretty. It's just... Yeah. So if, if you're looking for for a uh, a pin in the, like, 150-ish range, I think that's about how much these are. These aren't bad colors. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think any of them are really ugly or anything. I just think the amber glass is the No, the yeah, prettiest. I'm surprised. It's, they're not ugly. None of them are ugly. I mean, I would be happy with any of them. They're really, really pretty. Yeah. Um, which reminds me of the pen I already have, so not really, <laughs> so like, going, going, not really going yeah. out to go buy it. But, like, it's, they're they're gorgeous, so. Yeah, I, I think um, <clears throat> getting one of these pens and putting a, a number six gold nib in it would just – it would, it would make a fantastic yes, fantastic Yeah, actually, pen. the amber one would look absolutely beautiful with gold nib. Like, you can even see in the picture here where it's... You could put a ruthenium, uh, a black ruthenium plated nib on the Twilight Embers, and I think that would look good yes, as well. Yes, it would look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. But yeah, those are those are up and available. Or they're not... Um, no, they are available for purchase. I believe Goulet has them. Are they purchasing them? Um, you can get them at Goulet um, and other pen retailers. I just, I just know of Goulet. Click here to find the <laughs> retailer. Yeah. Oh, um, there's a couple. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's a handful of um, U.S. Ooh. retailers, a handful of international retailers. They're probably going to be available at your favorite online pen retailer. Yeah. Um, they do As have they do. A, a like a, I don't know if they have a shop. I know they have like a, a factory or whatever in um. It might be Idaho. I don't, don't kill think... me. I don't know they have a shop themselves um uh, so these are 169 that's a little yeah high. i was gonna say they're not they're not 150 they're, they're a, little that's a little high and you can get the 18 carat nib for 300 dollars. you know that's still i I, mean, pretty... I i can't say anything i haven't tested the build quality of edison's they look really nice though yeah they're at, they're actually really really pretty i'm 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 digging them i don't find any color of that i've seen yet that i hate yeah. So that's a plus. That's a really because odd normally thing when they're when they're gonna release three colors, I'm I'm gonna end up disliking at least one of them, probably two. But all of these are fine. I wouldn't be against getting any of these, to yeah, be honest. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I don't know. They're, they're they're okay. I think I think the price um honestly needs to be dropped a bit if they're gonna be using a yeah. standard cartridge converter pen. I understand it's like hand turned, gorgeous materials, all that stuff, but. For production line pen, one hundred and seventy dollars with a steel nib. Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of companies are trying to push for that, and it's just not hitting. Click in with me. I'm, I'm not a not a big fan. But they're they're selling them, obviously. So you know, yeah. Someone's I mean, them. I guess I guess a lot of people just have one hundred and seventy dollars laying around. They're just like, oh, uh, we're making a car payment. Let's just <laughs> buy a pen. <laughs> um. Let's go ahead and go on to... I'm super excited about this next one. I'm super excited about it. What and is I've, this? I've got to get one. It's a Lamy Safari Pikachu edition. Ah, so cute. if you scroll down in the bite... Like, it's it's all in Chinese. I'm sure you can... You I would say, I really can't read any of this. I'm just scrolling down. But so if I'll you scroll some. down, it shows all the stuff this comes with. So basically, you get, a, you get an outer Pokeball style case. You get an inner yellow Lamy case. You get the yellow Safari with a red clip. You get a Pokeball, you get two little Pikachu things you can slide onto your pen, you get cartridges, and you get a notebook. And holy crap, Jesus. it's awesome. And now, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, no, go, go ahead. I was going to say, I'm looking at this thing, and I'm like, there's a picture of the back of it, it has Pikachu's tail on it. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like super excited for that. Like, I, I, Oh my god. I, I'm going to buy one of these when they, they're supposed to become available um, November 10th. Do you want me to pick you up one too? How much are they? 
Um, I think they're, I think they're about fifty dollars or something like that. Oh my god, I was gonna say if they're under two hundred, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy one. But holy crap, if it's fifty bucks, I'm sold. I'm sorry, oh. that's. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to, that that'll be your Christmas this year. I'll get you the Pikachu. There you go. That's, that's all um, I want. That'll go with uh, my Let's Go Pikachu that I'm getting. So this works. Perfect. I wish they did an Eevee version now. Um, no, but I'm. Oh, um, <laughs> what nib size do you want? Um, they have a fine would be good with me. What, what size do they have? I it's, it's hard to tell. It's all it. Chinese. It's like I honestly can't read any of this. So I'm guesstimating. I don't use Chrome as my main browser, so I don't. I don't know. Let me see if I can my run biggest, it through like Google Translate real quick. My biggest problem is almost everything is a picture. Nothing is really anything I can copy. So I little so Google Chrome's not doing anything. It's it's just kind of like oh, we guess there's stuff on this page. Wonderful, thanks Google. Yeah, like it's literally all just pictures. They really uh they really outdid themselves on these pictures. Yeah, it is it is cool though. I'm I'm surprised they got, um you know, such a such a big right? license. That's yeah, especially a German company. I'm not saying Germans you know hey pokemon but like what are you saying josh you know exactly what i'm saying jacob <laughs> no. saying Germans hate uh, pokemon. i'm just it's very surprising i would expect it um them to go through a different company something probably closer to home dude i'm loving this bag the bag has like a little pikachu tail i'm i'm going crazy i'm finding like little details i'm loving there's tons of them if you go uh, all the way down to the bottom it shows cry. you basically everything that you get and the little pokeball case so yeah, that little case it has um, Lamy on one side, it's yellow, and then it has like Pikachu stamped on the other side. It has a tail zipper. You get the pen. It has a it has a black nib. It has a red clip. You get two little decorations. You can slide over the clip. You get a Pokeball pen holder. You get so much stuff. Right? And it's for crazy. Basically fifty dollars, guys. Like it's I'm a saying pretty now, this good, is a freaking this good is deal. A, this is a deal to jump on. That's ridiculous. And I haven't seen anyone talking about this. I, I saw one post on Reddit, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, I, I I need this. This has to be in my life." And I haven't seen anyone else mention anything about it. It's like okay, but yeah, I'm. This is probably the thing on the list that I'm most excited about, and I really hope they don't sell out before I can get my hands on one. <laughs> I really hope I'm able to get one. Honestly, though, yeah. So yeah, November tenth. So we have about thirteen days. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, yeah. so it's six days before my birthday. I'm liking it. I don't think it'll come in before your birthday, but you know what? <laughs> we can try. Don't kill my dream. <laughs> but yeah, I, th I think it's a really, really solid package. And I know normally we like kind of make fun of the prices of a lot of stuff. I think this is extremely reasonably priced. This is honestly underpriced from what I'm. This is this is coming from someone that's a fan. Like they could they could charge me a hundred dollars and I would buy it. Right. I I'm just like look guys, I may not play a lot of it anymore, but I've been a fan of Pokemon for years. And now that someone's like, hey, this is just fifty dollars. I'm like, oh well. This is like punching yeah. me right in the childhood. Like it's, right. It's, it's this is honestly right. the best. Like, I was really expecting. You know, you just say like, "Oh, this is two hundred dollars." I'm like, "Ugh, I can just make it." <laughs> this is a great, this is a great deal. Now, these are limited edition. I I don't know how limited edition, but they this, are limited don't edition. Don't up. I don't have to buy this from a scalper and pay four hundred dollars. I'm gonna cry. I'm not paying four hundred dollars for this pen. I'll pay a hundred dollars for this pen, but I, I I I try to avoid scalping as it is. Yeah, because scalping's uh, is not what we need here. Scum. Anyway. Scum. Yeah, I I, I thought you would appreciate this pen. Um, I a, do. As I, have. I love it so much. It's. Oh my god, I love it. I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm like super excited. So. I love it. It's 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 great. Really it great. enjoying it. <laughs> okay. Let me see. So um, I I have some some info pulled up from it. Let's see. Okay.
it says 4,993 pieces have been booked, but I don't see an option to, like, pre-order or anything. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait. Um, one per order, blah, blah, blah. Someone asked if they could make a Digimon one. Huh? What? Where are you getting all this? Um, I translated a bunch of the text from it. I just copied the text because the web page uh... like breaks when I try to when I try to translate it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go into this one. So actually, um, my guy from work told me about this pen, and I am honestly kind of blown away by it. Um, I got to try one with a medium nib, and it was very good actually. But, um, what? Oh, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the Knox you are. Play-Doh. You're, so you're getting really ahead of yourself here. <laughs> this is the Knox Play-Doh. It is a, um, it's a fountain pen, Play-Doh. and it's about $20, but the freaking nib options. Holy crap. Yeah, that's actually a lot of So you options. can get extra fine, fine, Surprise. medium, broad, oblique, broad, oblique, double, broad, and a Nemesign 1.1 millimeter stub. So I really like Nemesign nibs in general. Um, but I gotta say, for twenty dollars, I'm trying that oblique double broad. Like I, I have to. I've been wanting an oblique broad for a while, and I think an oblique double broad would be awesome for twenty bucks. And this um, website offers thirty dollars free. Anything over thirty dollars is free shipping. This is the Birmingham Pen Company, and this pen's kind of simplistic. They have it in a few different colors, <laughs> but the nib selection is just freaking crazy to me. Honestly, I actually really like this. It's very, um, it's like a very minimalistic pen, which I'm surprised because I don't normally see a lot of pens that are like, oh, you know, let's go just normal minimalistic style. A lot of them have to have something kind of like quirky about them, being the way they're shaped, being the way they, you know, look, the color schemes on them. This is literally like I could probably just carry this around and think it's just a normal pen until I open it up. Well, one thing that I like about it, at least w- the one I handled, it seemed to me like they focused a lot of the money on this pen, on the performance of the pen, instead of Which the looks. And I think that was a really good choice, especially in this price it range. A, it's an absolutely great choice, especially for $20. Yeah. Guys, this is a pen I would pick up. This comes with I mean, a converter, is... by the way. Okay, for, see. For 20 bucks. See, guys, there's no reason to not buy a $20 pen that comes with a converter. Yeah. Like, so that's, no. I'm definitely going to be picking one of these up. Um, I'm super, super excited about it. I, I just need to, I'm going to have to wait till after Christmas to get one, but I'm going to get one. <laughs> and definitely, definitely in the oblique double broad nib. Um, double broad. It's, it's just such a weird nib choice for a, a off the shelf $20 pen. But I, I, I really appreciate it. I appreciate that they took the risk to like make something like this. And right. yeah. um, this is the only place you can buy these pens, by the way. I don't know. Oh, if, really? if, yeah, I don't know if that's something um, exclusively like that only they're doing or what, but yeah. Um, this company actually has uh, quite a few unique things. Um, if you click their just their home logo, and um, the first thing that pops up is the Model A Bubblegum Fountain Pen. They make these pens like in house. They have it's like this really cool swirly acrylic. They have a pink one called Bubblegum. They have a green one called Ectoplasm. They have oh, um, oh, wait a, minute. a couple other colors. It's just, I don't know, this this, this shop looks interesting. And it's on their actual regular page? Yeah, if you just click the, the Birmingham Pen Company logo up top, it takes oh, you to their homepage. Oh, wow. I see what you mean now. Yeah, do it. Well, this is neat. I like this. This is interesting. Yeah. So the Bubblegum is sold out. The Ectoplasm is not. If you really enjoy... I don't know, highlighter green pens. <laughs> you have trouble you know. finding your pens. This is going to be what you're looking for, guys. Probably so. Oh, Lord. I yeah. love this, though. This is... It's interesting. I'm actually... I'm digging this because, I don't, like I said, I normally just don't see pens that are, like, minimalistic. This is really pretty. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to pick one of these up. Yes. One thing I'm not going to be picking up is the Montegrappa Samurai. What is wrong with the Monte Grappa Samurai? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, what is wrong with the Monte Grappa Samurai? We'll, <coughs> we'll go over that in just a minute, Josh. Hold that one to yourself. <laughs> okay. So if you look at this pen, it's it's extremely unique. This is the most unique pen I've ever seen in my entire life by by a mile. Um, the pen itself 
when capped, is a oh samurai. Lord. You can stand oh him up Lord. on his feet. Um, he comes with a sword and a gift box and ink. Oh my Lord. And uh, the, the gift box is gorgeous. The pen itself, the section appears to be either Damascus or Timascus. Um, I'm not sure. It has a unique filling mechanism. There's only 177 of these pens. They're all sterling silver completely. Um, there are seven that are going to be made out of solid gold, which is interesting. The, the box is piano lacquer. It's red velvet lining, a silk pouch. Um, the katana is actually a functional letter letter opener, which is insane. Um, so, you know, what's holding me back from purchasing this really unique, fairly interesting fountain pen? <laughs> um, the fact that it's twelve thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just <laughs> that price tag. I'm just like, ah. Oh. Uh, Montegrappa does some crazy, crazy stuff, but this is it's this is, is something really... else nice and ambitious thing to do I, I actually think it's really interesting it is super interesting but holy crap oh my yeah i'm just like oh, holy crap okay, okay. twelve thousand dollars oh twelve some, some hard flexing there guys i need to calm down like what twelve thousand dollars i mean if i had twelve thousand dollars just laying around i think i could I, I think i would buy it just be like yeah i bought this over expensive pen that looks really nice and then forget that it's a pen and just leave it somewhere. But <laughs> <laughs> I'd be scared to use this thing. Honestly, though, could you imagine accidentally dropping this and like bending the nib or something? I would. I'd kill no. myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just I'd take that little bitty katana and let me just, sand it. <laughs> let me just call Montegrappa and be like, "Can I get a replacement? Do you have a thirty day warranty?" For, warrant for twelve thousand five hundred dollars, <laughs> you better send me like six nibs. That's ridiculous. I don't care if it's made of gold or not. That should be the five hundred dollars. Send me five. That's the five hundred dollars there. Those replacement nibs. It's insane. It is gorgeous. Like if I it received this as a really... gift, I would be blown away. But I would also be like, "You insured <laughs> yeah, this pen, right?" Because <laughs> it's that's something else. Um, it's really nice. It's it it is, but it is it is super over the top. It's just too much, guys. I did find one from Montegrappa that I actually really like. That is somewhat affordable ish. And it's a bit oh. more interesting. Um, oh. This one's the Montegrappa Aviator. I just saw this on the nibsmith.com. Um, it's it's very unique. I'm not super into airplanes or anything, but I think the design of this pen is interesting. It is. It's, it's very nice. Um, I, the case that it comes with is really, really cool. It comes it in like, like a, flight goggles. It looks like goggles, yeah. yeah. Which is super interesting. Um, the only thing I've got against this pen at all Really, um, the price isn't bad. It's three fifty. Um, you have to add it to your cart to see, but yeah, I, I added. It to oh, my I was cart gonna say, where the hell do you see three fifty? Because mine says yeah. four ninety five. Yeah, it's it's three it's three fifty. Um, my my only um issue with this is the fact that it comes with a steel nib. Now, steel nibs can be very good. I just prefer the softness of gold or titanium. Um, which is a shame because I really like the way Montegrappa's nibs look, that hexagon pattern thing. Yeah, the, the nib is... Or, or beautiful, octagon, like, whatever the hell it is. It's really cool. I like it a lot. And I think the design's very interesting. I think this is possibly their attempt to get something, one of their like unique designs down it's to awesome. a bit more negotiable price point. Um, I think the body of the pen is a bit simplistic, which isn't bad. I think the cap is really where they went crazy at. It is. Um, I like the design on it. I mean, it's a really cool, like, I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. Like the side of a plane? I don't know. I guess. I, I don't it's know. cool, I but know. I'm just kind of like, I honestly thought it was, um, <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be like a spaceship first. It wasn't until <laughs> I, it wasn't until I saw the case. I was like, oh, it's a, it's a plane. It's a really awkward looking plane, but it's a plane. It looks like something okay. that would be above the ground. Whether it That's, does, look, yeah. it does look a little spaceship. Yeah, I'm just. Gonna, it looks like it one looks of those like, like 1950s spaceship. spaceship toys to me. Exactly. But it's it it's nice. not a bad design. It's just, hmm. at least I don't think so. You may absolutely hate it. What was that? I said I don't. I don't think it's a bad design, but you may absolutely hate it. I don't know. Oh no no! I think I. I oh sorry. I thought it said it earlier. I don't mind it. It's just um, what's the back of this look like? There's just no pictures of the no, back. Yeah, I, I, I think it's just a flat 
playing back. I think the the body of the fountain pen they tried to keep it a bit more neutral looking. Oh, that's stupid. See, this whole time I'm sitting there like there has to be something special about it on the back because on the back of the cap, there's a um there's a logo that I can't see. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't show, which is irritating. And I would love for that to just kind of that design to go down the back of the actual pen, because then it'd, it'd be like, oh, so this should be the front, and this is the back. And I think it's just interesting. I haven't seen a pen do that before. I, I think if this is in your price range of like a pen you could gift to someone, this would be an excellent, excellent gift because of the packaging and stuff like that. I, I think it would be very, very interesting. This is this pen is more. Um... I'm going to say this is more of a look pen, not so much of a, uh, a use pen. I would use it, but yeah, but exactly. I, I'm fine it's... with flashier stuff. If you work somewhere where you have, like Josh does, like the opportunity to lose it or have someone take it without really paying yeah. attention, do not buy this. Because people will steal the mm-hmm. out of this. <laughs> like, yeah, no, it, this is... Unlike the Knox Play-Doh, this one looks expensive. <laughs> this one does. I'll give it that. It actually has this, like... It looks like a collector's pen, so it, it looks like it should be fairly expensive. But it's like, kind of oh. at that user price range, which is interesting. Exactly, yeah. It's I mean, it's, like, it's, oh, you like you like planes, you like flying stuff. Here's yeah, a pen. That if if you're into, like into planes and fountain pens, this is like perfect for you. Exactly, this, this is perfect. This is, a, this is a mold I wasn't expecting anyone to be together in, but I guess it's happening. I mean, you never know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You're correct. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some more exciting stuff. Yeah. The 2019 Lamis have been leaked yes. or announced or whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah. Um. Just real quick, looking at pictures from both, Josh, which one do you prefer, the All Star or the Safari? Um. Uh, the All Star is a really, really beautiful color. That's a caramel but- to me. It looks like caramel. It actually does. But I'm sorry. I just... The pastels are my favorite. Yep. I, I can't with this. This is... I think everyone's going to be agreeing on, the, <laughs> agreeing on this one. This is this is going to be the flat black against the other... Like, this is... Yeah. Uh, All-Stars. It's, it's rough. Um, Now, granted, the All-Star color isn't hideous. If you like that kind of caramely orange-brown, pick it up. I'm probably no, going to no, pick no. up the ink. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think it's actually really, really pretty. I, ex- I really love the color. Um, orange brown is kind of my, I don't want to say my favorite. It's not even close. But it's it's a really pretty color. I would choose this color over a lot of different colors. But you're not going to beat me on pastel colors. No, the game man is going to choose pastel colors every time. <laughs> I'm especially sorry. when there's three of them. Especially so when there's three of them. There's a pastel pink. It's called Powder Rose. A pastel blue called uh, Blue Macaron. Macaron? Macaroon? I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Macaron. That, 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 macaron. Cup, it's a that food. cookie thing that it's, I've it's never a eaten food. It's a food, guys. <laughs> and a green one called Mint Glaze. Um, maybe buying all of these? I don't know. We're not there yet. I'm going to buy all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Just They're really, really... I think it'd be interesting to have them all in different nib sizes. Like have a fine, medium, broad. Um, so you're telling me I need to buy nine pins now no i'm saying one each one with different <laughs> nib sizes don't buy them all in different nib sizes um i don't know how to take off nibs jacob i'm just gonna buy them all in different sizes alami nibs especially are super easy you just slip them off and slip them on they're like made to slip out um slip so out so mine. this was kind of breathtaking the first time i saw this i was like holy crap like three safaris is pretty bold but i think they're gonna sell the heck out of these because oh, yeah. all the people last year who didn't like the Lamy Pure Black, which is like 99% of the population, are going to love this one. They're going to freaking love it. Exactly. This is the exact opposite. Like, this is so far apart that it's astounding. They, they took, like, the coloriest colors that you could get, and they're like pins. And exactly. And it's, it's, it's awesome. Exactly. I'm really... I'm really hoping they... they follow on this trend i know this is special editions but i would love for them to bring out three more special editions of just other pastel colors i just yeah i think i think a pastel purple and yellow would be nice maybe exactly maybe a peachy orange color they could they could literally just make a whole line out of 
Safari Pastel. I mean, I think it would sell. I honestly think it would sell. I think so too, to a degree. Um, yeah. These are the slicker pens versions of the Safari. I've never tried one of those. Yeah. I have the charcoal, and Josh, you have the petrol, both of which are the, the rougher kind of texture ones. Yeah. So I'm not sure about that too much, but I'm still going to buy them anyway. I really hope they sell them in a three pack for like $70. <gasps> like, give us a little bit of I discount. I would love that. Dude, do you understand? I would buy all three. I would. I want the package now to be like the mix of pastel. Like they did on the word pastel here where it's mixed all the way across. I would love that in a package. I would go crazy for that shit. One thing that I am worried about, if you look at the all-star picture, it shows the ink with it. If you look at the safari picture, there's no ink shown. I want these That's pastel true. inks. That's I want true. them so bad. I feel like and... it'd be too much. I feel like it'd be too much like a highlighter. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it'd be pretty. It's just, I don't think it would highlighter. have to be. Um, I think the highlighter thing would be a bit too neon. Yeah. I mean, I think it would be a bit difficult to read on page, maybe, but, or maybe just give us like a shade or two darker than the pens, like something a bit legible. Yeah, but exactly. Something, man. Come on. It's really pretty, though. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, really I'm just kind of like, I keep like, gapping at it, but I just, I love it. I love the names. A lot of times they, they'll do something and then they'll be like, "This is a dumb name for it." I'm like, "Oh." I still take it. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, oh, someone's locking on my door. Sure. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the pilot vanishing point uh, stripes. Actually, stripes. Wait a minute. So. Oh. I don't know how to feel about this pen. I don't hate it. I think it would be interesting to actually have one to hold one and to see it. Um. But the color they have on this currently looks like it's like a black and white silhouette. Like they're like, we're not going to show you what color this is. But that probably is the color. Um, the price is super high on this. Uh, for a vanishing point, considering they're normally $150. So I'm a little... I don't know. What, what are you thinking? Because you're struggling over there. You know, um, oh Lord, I'm trying to find a nice way to put this. <laughs> it's, it's very, um, Greek. It kind of reminds me of the, um, like a column, like a column. Fuck if it's not ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm going to, I'm going to say something oh. a bit, a, possibly a bit controversial. Oh god. I prefer this over that. the cross lines version. <laughs> this one of the cross lines? Yeah, I, I prefer this one over cross lines. I think cross Let lines was a look. shitty limited edition version. Um, I think this one would have been better this year. I think Pilot dropped the ball with that one, and they should have used this one instead, which I think a lot of people still would have been disappointed in. But to be honest, I really don't hate it. <laughs> the I, cross I, lines? I kind of like the look of it. You know what? I'm gonna let me let me be controversial as well. Um, I really hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I really really hate it. I just it reminds me so much of like I don't even know like a tapeworm or something. It's weird. what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the segments. Yes, it's so disgusting. If they were like ringed, I could see it. Like, but I think where the, where they're vertical, <laughs> I think it's okay. But if they had done horizontal okay. rings, I think it would have looked awful. Like, I could have, I could have totally wanted to take part on that. I think this one's interesting. It's interesting. Um, the cross lines, I don't, I'm not a big fan of either. Um, yeah, we really we shit on that one a lot we, last podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, this is gonna be interesting to hold. I feel like it would actually be really good grip because of the grooves yeah. in it, but. Um, God, do I hate the way it looks. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this, too. If this pen were $150, like a normal vanishing point, I would probably buy it. Um, yeah, at 320 honestly. Pilot? No. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all stupid. I'm not paying $320 Guys. for this pen. Guys, no. Don't do like, this to yourselves. Like, what in the hell are y'all thinking? Charging three, almost $400 for a vanishing point. Get off your high horse. I guess they really thought people like tapeworms. I don't know. Okay, Josh, 
you, you, you've seen the Crimson Sunrise and the Twilight, like the ombre kind of pens. Yes, I love them. Those retail for about two, a little over $200. Now, would you rather have one or both of those or this one pen? I mean, obviously I want the other ones. Yeah, more. and they're cheaper. It's, you they're can cheaper. go buy a, a, a someone from, like one of those from a scalper for less than this. This is ridiculous. No one's going to exactly. pay $320 for this unless you are exactly. just super into textured, like vertically striped textured pens. I wonder if that's what they're aiming for. Is there like, this is going to be our kind of entry point to textured pens. I've never really seen another one like, like this. I don't quite know. You I just made me think of something. If they made like a, um, what is it called? A, like a knurled kind of finish, like diamond shapes all over the barrel. Mm. I think that would be interesting. It would be. It kind of um, like a giant rock, but yeah, I think it would be nice. One that I would definitely buy would be like a honeycomb pattern. I would pay three hundred twenty dollars for that in a heartbeat. If it were a honeycomb pattern one, because I love that the hexagon shape, I, I would buy that three hundred twenty dollars <laughs> every single day of the week. I would buy it right now. Um, but as, the stripes, as long, stripes ain't doing it. Yeah, as long as it's not like indented inward, I think the honeycomb pattern would be absolutely beautiful. Um, I think they would need to add some color there, like a contrast. You would have to have, yes. I would hate to get this in like. The I think they missed that, white. missed the ball with this one, because th- that they really I, did. If you look down the description, they they do say it is like a silver, gray color. Maybe um, that's just what it is, because it looks very. It just literally looks like a plain. Honestly, zooming out, it makes it look like a plastic pen. I kind of hate it that. Like like it looks like, like a, sucked the color out of it. It does. It looks like they were like, we're going to show you this pen, but not show you the color. And I think so the reason is. Like, I think the reason is that it's it's this steel, or is it steel? Because they're normally made of brass. It just says metal. It just says metal body. Does it tell you what? Oh, no. I, don't, I don't know what the hell. Yeah, it that just means. says metal. Like there's not even a there's not even a specific kind. Y'all, it's just I need metal. if I'm you're, if I'm paying three hundred twenty dollars, this better be like freaking titanium, um, which would be darker. This isn't titanium, but it looks like they they took. This, the steel or whatever the hell it is, and they were like polished it, and they were like, no, this is too too nice looking, and then they buffed it down and made it like a matte finish, which is normally fine, but in this pen it looks dead, and they it didn't really inject does. any color and like in between the lines. If they did variate like alternating stripes of two colors or something, like a, I don't know, like a blue and white or a pink and black or something like that, I think that would look really really cool, but they just went all gray. Yeah. It's very plain. It's very boring. I'm not trying to be this offensive, is... but it looks like someone from Germany where it's like, let's go crazy and design a really, really interesting fountain pen. <laughs> and they're like, boom. <laughs> okay, like, we I'll can't go too this. crazy, guys. We can't put any interesting colors on it, but let's stripe it. I, I mean, I'll give you this. It is a very interesting pen. It is. I think it's very it's very interesting. They they think out of the box here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you with something. What if this pen isn't textured at all? Don't do what, this to me, Jacob. What if it's painted to look like it's textured? Don't do this to me. Oh my god. That would be the ultimate betrayal. <laughs> like you pay $320 and you get it and it sucks and even it's worse than you thought it did. It's freaking painted. <laughs> this is probably <laughs> why it looks fake. <laughs> oh god, don't do that to me, dude. <laughs> this is this is why they can't tell us if what kind of metal it is. They're just like, it's... It's lacquered picture. brass, like always, but we painted it to make it look like it's a better but metal. it's painted. <laughs> oh, God. That would kill me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that, that would piss me off. I, I just I don't, I don't see the point in this one for 320 I think the normal vanishing either. point is a fantastic value. I love mine to death. I still use it. I'm carrying it right now. But, Did uh, you pay $320 for it? Hell no. I paid like 150 like a normal person. There you go. I'm <laughs> like, like there's... human being. This is like, for someone that has to have a pilot pin... Or they're like collecting, but it's not. It's just ugly. That's probably who this is aimed at. Actually, is people who are collecting the vanishing point. You know what would also be an ultimate betrayal if they made the pen out of steel, and then they were like, to complement the steel of the pen, we gave it a steel nib. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be the nail in the coffin for me. Hey guys, okay. I know you, I know you just paid three hundred dollars for this pen, but uh, it's just steel. Yeah, it's just steel. It's just steel. It's a special okay. Alloy. Um, okay. Okay. Let, I, I'm yeah. done with that pen because that's just an annoying 
annoyance. That's, that's I, I literally just, just yeah. found that before we started, and I figured you would you would appreciate seeing that. I also found this before okay. we started, and I am way more into this one. Way more into this one. I this like is it. the uh, Kefeco Student Seventies Soul. It is like a orange and it says white, but it looks like a, more of like an off white, like cream color to me. It's cream, guys. That's cream. I can def- definitely see like a seventies color scheme here, but I actually really like this pen. I, as I was saying, I love it. I love the name of it. The seventy soul is really good. And also, good. it's about seventy dollars. <laughs> so they had to make sure everything was seventies. They they had it set for a, a good amount. Um, I personally like it. I really love it. Actually, the color scheme because it's not like bright pops of color. It's very washed out yeah. orange, and it's a very creamy. It looks white. vintage. Like, it looks vintage. There you go. It's it's absolutely beautiful. The nib looks beautiful. The gold accents are actually really like I just I love it. I like the way the grip is slightly con- uh, concave. I think that'll be really really nice. Oh, I didn't even notice hand. that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What is it made out of? It looks like it's made out of plastic. It, it looks like it's it just like plastic, like a resin. Yeah. Yeah, it's resin. It's resin. Okay. Well, see, that's still fine. I can I can still deal with that. I'll go ahead and upgrade it with one hundred and twenty six dollars. Get that fourteen carat nib. That's a, that's for the two tone. You... That's for the two tone. Yeah, just 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 the left of that for one twelve. You can get the regular gold. What if I want two tone? Why would you want two tone? The pins has gold trim. Because it's cream. They're saying it's white, but it's cream. And that's cream. That ain't white. That's stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I actually, out of all the pins on this list, I, there are several that I'm gonna buy. Like definitively, first off, that Pikachu Lamy is at the very top. Yes. The then Pikachu those Lama, safaris. Sorry, guys. And then this one. So, for once, I'm interested more in these sub-$100 pins. Woo! It's just these companies... We made a breakthrough, guys. We made a breakthrough. Yep. Lamy and Quebec have just been... Germany's been knocking it out of the park, except for that pilot pen. <laughs> except for the damn pilot <laughs> pen. I don't... Oh, a quick God. disclaimer, that was not actually designed to Germany. I'm just making fun of German design aesthetics. Which I, I don't actually hate, because the Lamy 2000 is beautiful. But it's a little boring. I would take boring over that. I'm sorry, guys. That's just... If I want to go look at a column, I'll go look at a column. I don't need to buy one for $320. <laughs> That's so... In case you want to carry around a Greek column in your pocket. Just in case, guys. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Kill me. <laughs> I can't. I, at least they, they're trying something new. I mean, right. it's it's... It's not their fault if they had someone hand carve it out of marble and had to charge three hundred twenty dollars for it. Jesus Christ! Anyway, please tell me you're joking about the car. Like, please tell yeah. me you're joking. Okay. Yeah, if, if that pen were made out of marble, honestly, I'd if it was made it. out of marble, I would. I'd be like, okay, I can understand. I would it's buy a it. bad endeavor, but damn. <laughs> I'm a jackass. Um, but I think that'll be about it for today, guys. Um, was there anything else that you wanted to add on to any of that, Josh? Um. Remember, don't pay over $100 for shitty pens. It's not worth it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a PSA. But under $100, you can totally buy a shitty pen. It's perfectly... You can fine. totally buy a shitty pen. It's fine. You'll you get your money back sometime. Under. You can there find you a lot of shitty pens under and over $100. So just there be careful go. out there, everybody. Watch my reviews. I, I I let you know whether a pen sucks or not. There's a reason why he reviews these things. It's for you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm not making money off of this. <laughs> I'm losing quite a bit. <laughs> But it's it's for the it's for y'all's help, and it gives it's me a, a reason guys. to rant it's about all for you. It's all for y'all. It has it's nothing to do with me. No, I, <laughs> I started the channel very selfishly just so I could talk about fountain pens to someone, even if it was an audience that barely comments. Um. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, this Shame. one um this will also be uploaded to SoundCloud. If you're listening to this this late in the YouTube video, I'm I'm sorry I forgot to mention that in the beginning. But yeah, and if you don't want to listen to the last thirty seconds or so of this on YouTube, go listen on SoundCloud. Yay, um, I prefer it if you listen on YouTube, but what the hell do I know? Do you get, do you get like, how does SoundCloud figure out if you like, if people are hearing? Do you get to see like? I'm gonna be honest with you. I've not even checked to see if I have any listens on SoundCloud. Let me go pull it up. <laughs> okay, I'm I don't even. I literally, <laughs> the, literally the only reason I uploaded to SoundCloud is because someone asked me to. <coughs> they were, they were like, "Hey, can you do this?" And I was like, "Oh, well, look yeah. at you being nice." Sure. Look at you being nice. I know, right? Okay, let me let me look. Over the last thirty days, 
Uh, we're only over the last 12 months. I've had four plays, four people listen to these Woo! podcasts. And someone favorited it. Favorited hey. it. Favorited it. Favorited it. Favorited it. Favorited. They favorited it. Favorited. Favorited it. Um, yeah. So that was that was interesting. Um, all of them have been in the United States, and the person who who was listening <laughs> from Madeira, California. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Madeira, you're, California. You're, you, Madeira, California is is my top city for listeners. So thank y'all <laughs> very very much, Madeira, California people. Looks like Club Bullseye Collective is the one that that upvoted the um yeah they have they have a bunch of weird tracks I'm not going listening to, um, but yeah, <laughs> they're the ones who favorite it. So thanks, <laughs> thanks uh, Bullseye Club Bullseye Collective. Anyway, um, done with the ranting, done with everything else. Was there anything else that you wanted to add on before we go, Josh? No, I mean I've I've said my piece. It's all been done. We're all good. Yeah, don't buy that pilot pen. All right, thanks, everybody. Um, have a good day. Go check out my other videos, all that stuff. Subscribe. It, it doesn't give me anything, but it makes me feel like I'm a decent human being and I'm not wasting all my time. Um, thanks, and have a good day. Bye, guys.